Tigers and A's kicking off the divisional playoffs in the Motor City before a raucous crowd at Comerica Park. Justin Verlander on the hill for the home team, being opposed by A's rookie Jared Parker. But it's Verlander who would blink first in this one. His fourth pitch of the game is taken out by Coco Crisp. A stunning start to this one as the homer by Coco gives the A's the early 1-0 lead. Fast forward to the home half of the third game now tied at one. It's Parker facing Quinton Berry with a man aboard. The 3-2 is swinging a soft ground ball past the mound, charging in and bobbling in is the pitcher Parker and coming home with a go-ahead run is Omar Infante. Parker tried to make the play on his own. He was going to grab it and either tag Barry or the base at first and he swept it away with his glove and the Tigers take a 2-1 lead. WXYT on the call as we go bottom five. It is still a 2-1 game. It is now Alex Avila leading off the frame against Parker. Avila fly ball left field deep. Going back Cespedes onto the track at the fence. Looking up and it's gone a home run. Alex Avila gives the Tigers a 3-1 lead here in the fifth. WXYT on the call. We move top six, and Verlander really finding a groove now. Brandon Moss down on strikes to lead off the frame. Then it's Josh Reddick who stares a strike three. That's out number two. Josh Donaldson, have a seat. Verlander strikes out the side, and he was only getting stronger as the game goes on in the seventh, a leadoff K for Seth Smith. And now it's Verlander facing Derek Norris. The 2 2. Swing and a miss. He got him. 11 strikeouts and five in a row for Justin. WXYT on the call. Verlander would get Coco Crisp to ground out to end the frame. He goes seven strong, three hits, one earned. He walked four, but he ties a playoff career high with 11 strikeouts. Bottom seven now, it's Pat Neshek on in relief for the A's. Just days after the tragic death of his newborn son, he inherits a two-on, one-out jam from Jared Parker. He gets Omar Infante to ground into the force out, but Infante keeps the inning alive by beating the throw to first. So now it's two-on and two-down for Austin Jackson, and Neshek gets in with the swing and a miss. Neshek then tapping the pads that he and all of his Oakland teammates wear in memoriam of Gary John Neshek, the newborn son who tragically lost his life. Great job done by Neshek in the midst of an incredibly trying time. Top eight now, Joaquin Benoit relieving Verlander, facing Brandon Moss with a man aboard, and Moss gives this one a ride. Deep to right field, Comerica Park holds its breath, but Andy Dirks gloves this one at the wall. Moss barely missing out on tying this game with one swing. Top nine we go, it's Jose Valverde trying to slam the door, facing pinch hitter George Kataris with the bases empty at two down, and Kataris can only manage the pop out to the right side. Prince Fielder puts it away, and that's how this thing ends. The Tigers take a 1-0 lead in their best of five ALDS with a 3-1 victory over the A's. Justin Verlander throws 121 pitches in his seven-inning performance, while Jared Parker goes six in the third, giving up just two earned runs, though he did allow a third run on that crucial fielding error.